Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel and welcome if you are new. Shout out to any new subscribers and anyone who supports me um, on this little channel of mine. <laughs> um, so, I really hope this is true, but The Cultured Nerd, um, it's a media outlet that I follow pretty closely. I follow them on Instagram, Twitter. Um, I use a lot of their stuff for my videos. Not saying that we shouldn't take everything with a grain of salt, but I do um, use them as one of my you know, people that I keep up with to see what they're reporting. They are reporting that Ben Affleck is possibly returning to the DC world as Batman for future projects with Zack Snyder. So they are saying in their article that other outlets, other sources um, have heard the same thing and that he has already signed a new contract to continue playing Batman in a possibility, like several possibilities. So they're saying that it could range anywhere from like mini series to cameo appearances to even feature length, you know, like feature films on HBO Max. And I really hope this is true. <laughs> um, ever since we got the announcement for Zack Snyder's Justice League, there have been a lot of other reports coming out as well as far as like rumors for you know henry like well the henry cavill like well the superman thing kind of came out right before we got the zack snyder justice league announcement um but like ever since then there's been a whole bunch of different things as far as like what hbo max wants to do with um more dc stuff like is it true that they want Ben Affleck's original Batman script? Do they want a, you know, a series with the Deathstroke and Batman? Like, you know, there's been a lot of different things. Um, of course, rumors about Zack Snyder's Justice League itself and cameo appearances and things like that. So um, they are reporting that this is, a, you know, very possible and that we should either get an announcement at the Justice Con, which is during... Um, the Comic-Con, the home Comic-Con event for SDCC this year, or the DC Fandom, which is like a month later in August. So, I don't know, they're kind of um, marketing this DC Fandom thing as like a pretty important, significant thing. So, they better have like significant stuff to show <laughs> because people seem to be pretty excited about it. Um, I'm interested to see what it's supposed to be about if it's not, you know, it's not during Comic-Con, which is usually when things are, like, really shown to everybody that, you know, we have all this thing, all these things lining up, and this is what we plan on doing in the near future and stuff like that. So it's a month after Comic-Con, which means, you know, if we're disappointed by some of the things that they do reveal at Comic-Con, just, like, don't get too mad right away because we still have this DC fandom thing that's happening next month in August. So, um, yeah, I would really love if this happens to be true because <laughs> as excited as I am to see Robert Pattinson, um, in the Batman movie, I really like, it was really sad when we found out that Ben Affleck left, you know, and I do really want to know like what they could possibly do with him as, but as Batman still, even though he's not actually doing the Batman movie, if HBO Max wants to do whatever they want to do with him, like, I'm excited to know if he's on board with it. Because if they're like, okay, we want your script, we want to do, like, this Deathstroke thing, we want to do cameos, we want to do whatever, like, I really hope he agrees to it if it's... If it was Zack Snyder, I think maybe he would feel better about it because it seems like the fallout with his with him doing the Batman movie happened because of what happened with Justice League. So if that's not really going to happen anymore, then I feel like he should be more that he should be back on board with it. <laughs> Please. Please. Like, it's okay to have him as Batman on HBO Max and then have Robert Pattinson in the movie theater. Like, it's okay to do that. It's okay. Now, ever since the story came out about 
Michael Keaton doing the Flash, Flashpoint, and he's going to be Bruce Wayne, Batman, in that movie, whatever. Some people are saying that it's like he's replacing Ben Affleck, that they're kind of doing this thing with him instead of having Ben Affleck. I don't know if that's true or not. I really don't know. And also this new contract that he's supposedly signed, Ben Affleck, does that mean that he's not going to be like in our, the things that we get in the theater? He's just going to do like the HBO Max thing, which either way, I think it's good news if he actually does return as Batman, whether it's in theater or on HBO Max, it doesn't really matter at this point. Um, I think everyone would be excited regardless just to see him back in some way. Um, so next, yes, please let this be true. And also please let us hear something about Henry Cavill or the next Superman movie or something. But like I said, we have Comic-Con coming up and the DC fandom thing. So hopefully we keep getting more exciting stuff for them sharing, like, you know, hopefully they share more exciting stuff with us because it's really been like a good sense of momentum since we got the announcement for Zack Snyder's Justice League. And I really do hope HBO Max, like, doesn't take it for granted. I hope they just, like, hey, Zack Snyder, we want you to do all this stuff, and we just want you to do, like, what you want. <laughs> so that's what needs to happen, in my opinion. Um, but either way, it's been exciting ever since we got that amazing announcement, and I look forward to seeing what else they have to share with us, and if these cool, fun, exciting rumors happen to be true. So, um... Yeah, that's what I wanted to talk about today. And also, there's been a lot of buzz about what Ray Fisher has been speaking out about concerning Joss Whedon and his treatment of cast and crew members and just his behavior overall. And of course, him forcefully retracting his support <laughs> at Comic-Con that year, which, I mean, we know... I don't think anyone's giving them grief for it because like we know that they were just doing what they were told they had to do and they were still under nd under ndas they were being you know they only have so much control at those points when they're when they're promoting a movie and until their ndas are over and so um yeah i think everyone kind of understands why they said what they had to say back when Justice League was being promoted and all of that kind of stuff. And I'm sure he feels some relief now that he can be more open and honest about it. And I think people are kind of also, it's a scary thing for, you know, people in the spotlight to do stuff like that. So, you know, shout out to him for doing that. So anyway, I'm glad they have Zack Snyder back with them and it's all good. So, <laughs> I mean, it's unfortunate that they had to go through all of that, you know. It's really unfortunate. But hopefully now they can have a good experience again working back with Zack Snyder and getting out the real thing that we were supposed to get and that they deserve to release and that we deserve to see. So, um, yeah, share your thoughts below if you have any and subscribe if you're not subscribed. And follow me on Twitter. I always leave my, t my handle in the... Um, description i always tweet my videos there and you know keep up with what's going on in this little dc world movie world of ours so um thanks for watching guys and stay safe out there see you next time